sure. So the book reflects the two, I think, most important parts of my life. There's obviously my mom's and my family, and then the Boy Scouts. And so the, the book is structured around the 12 values of the Scout Law. But those are really the 12 values that shaped and defined both my life and the Boy Scouts, but also the dinner conversations that we had at home where we learned about our values. The first is a Facebook message I got in the immediate aftermath of the video going viral back in February 2011. It was from a guy who was probably a few years older than me. He was about a week away from shipping out to Afghanistan. And he, he wrote in this Facebook message that he had been raised in the Deep South and had been raised anti-gay. Don't Ask, Don't Tell had just been repealed and so he was really nervous about that. And then he also wrote that he had just watched the video. Not only had it changed his mind about same-sex marriage and, and marriage equality, it had uh, it calmed his fears about Don't Ask, Don't Tell being repealed. And I thought that was an incredible thing to hear. But it's stories like that, you know, that, that make getting up at 4.30 in the morning worth it. It's the stories like that that sustain, uh, you know, people like us through this kind of work. That was a, a major part of, of why I decided to actually go ahead and write the book. You know, I, I was kind of a little apprehensive at first, but knowing that we could have this kind of impact you know, with a three-minute video, you know, what could we do with a 70,000 word book? I think it really is important to talk about the importance of media and that's why the work GLAAD does is so important. And to be a part of that and to you know, announce that we're working with GLAAD, uh, not just you know, on this own project but on some other project, it was, it was a pretty powerful moment. So you know, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that I'm an Eagle Scout and that I was a part of the Boy Scout program, but to hear a story like this is simply another reminder and a painful reminder of how much work there is still left to do. The reason media stories, and I think the reason that stories like mine and even the stories like the, the young Boy Scout out in, in Ohio, the reason those resonate so deeply is because it shows a different level of understanding and it enables people to see that you know, the faces and the stories and the, and the, the histories of LGBT people not so different from their own histories. By conquering that fear through understanding, we can move this dialogue forward in an incredibly positive way. And you can find me on Facebook, you can search Zach Walls, and there's a, a page that you can like. You can follow, find me on Twitter, just at Zach Walls, Z-A-C-H-W-A-H-L-S, uh, or my website, ZachWalls.com. Um, the book is on sale, and uh, you can find it wherever books are sold. And yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy, it's a very, uh, you know, important development, but I'm excited about it. Hopefully, I uh, get some get some good change happening.